hello guys today we are going to see how to do uh, how to capture the webcam uh, image and uh, to store in our uh, folder uh, that's what we are going to see so uh, which uh, i am taking here of dot net core project so this is my dot uh, net project which is empty project okay uh, so necessary plugin uh, here is only on uh, uh, js file which is web uh, web dot cam dot js so this uh, link i will give you uh, in the description you can pick up this uh, um, js then you follow me what i am doing it's very simple process so what my uh, uh, currently what i going to do is um, i going to add on capture uh, button uh, with preview of my uh, webcam so i can capture the exact image that will store in my image tag so that uh, we going to upload in the uh, database uh, or uh, we can save it in the folder uh, whichever the convenient so here i going to save that uh, captured image in convert as a, uh, image and store in the folder that's uh, that's what i going to show you today so let's go on uh, write our program directly so let's i go and create the table so where uh, we can set up um, uh, my uh, html markup okay just i gave border zero okay if you are familiar with this just you can uh, speed up this uh, thing so if uh, overall not familiar uh, to create the table on they want to know the structure so i just doing this uh, from the scratch but it's fine if uh, uh, you can uh, skip and you can you can go and uh, do it fast from your end okay so what i going to do is i going to create the uh, header now so th okay so let's give a line in center okay Good. Uh, then the another creating. Okay, this is a uh, TD. Okay, so what we can do is we can uh, create on a div uh, so that uh, which helps us to uh, show the items. So this will be called as ID. ID cam okay second will be image tag whichever the captured one we can pause it there so ID capture okay okay cool so okay let's go and check how the how it's displaying the browser okay it's fine currently uh, it's uh, nothing happened here that's fine uh, so let's uh, go and write our script directly without wasting more time okay just i uh, take the reference of uh, Sojax library, uh, so which is this? So I'm using the latest uh, jQuery uh, version, so which uh, currently is what the version 1.8.3. That's fine. So cool. So let's uh, go and refer our uh, capturing script, uh, which is uh, I placed uh, as I showed you early. I placed in the JS folder. So let's uh, give the source of that uh, jQuery link. Okay, that's fine. the js slash webcam dot js okay we can say the type text to javascript 
okay cool so let's uh, write our custom uh, script so what what the next step is uh, we need to uh, enable the web camera so uh, that's the one process that uh, it has to be show uh, in the div okay that's that's the first goal of us so let's go and write that script okay again this is uh, javascript okay cool so let's uh, write our function it's on load function like okay function okay so jquery function The first process is uh, okay. So let's uh, set our uh, camera uh, web camera displaying uh, with the height and uh, the format. Uh, okay, the what format it has to be uh, show uh, show show in, uh, to the front end. So that all we going to set, and uh, also we can uh, define the quality. So that all uh, the feature which is providing by the JS. So that's what we going to give now. So yeah. Webcam dot set good. So, uh, so I can give you uh, around three sixty. image format so which format we going to capture okay image format and uh, so we, we mentioned as a uh, format is uh, jpeg so let's uh, define the quality as well of the jpeg okay cool so we set uh, the webcam properties then uh, let's go and uh, attach this webcam uh, to my div element that's what we the next goal web dot attach okay okay and what is my idea of uh, div okay just ash cool so what what the thing is so we attach this webcam so uh, yeah so our job is uh, now uh, so let's go and refresh our uh, page okay once again there was something Okay, sorry. Uh, yep. Cool. So let's refresh the page now. Okay, still having an issue. Okay, let's check what I missed. Okay, the webcam is not defined. Oh, sorry. Everywhere has a spelling mistake. Webcam. Okay, cool. I think it, it should be this time proper. yes so this time so my camera is uh, working so it asking me to allow the camera to capture the image yes because this is the one mandatory that uh, user has to choose it whether uh, they uh, they have the facility to allow or block it so let's allow that see uh, my camera is started working now so it's capturing my wall that's cool so now uh, i can 
yeah so it's my current webcam which is you are seeing it so maybe you can also uh, experience that so that's cool so let's go to the code the next thing is uh, the uh, uh, next thing is uh, i will uh, apply the button okay so suppose this is uh, this is the things i want to capture then i can if i click the capture so it should be uh, take this uh, particular uh, screen shot and uh, it has to be placed in the image so that's the our goal now uh, okay let's go and do that So let's go and uh, create the button. Okay. Uh, so where we can add it uh, after the development, or uh, maybe we can create uh, one more uh, PR. Okay. So TD. Okay, so let's align this uh, center so that button will be placed in the center. So cool. Okay, input type button. Mm, yeah, so ID BTN capture. Okay, cool. And the value is a capture okay okay so that's fine cool okay so next uh, step is so on button uh, click uh, it has to uh, capture the my image uh, from the the screen of uh, the current wh whatever the showing in the webcam so that should be uh, play uh, placed to the image so that's what that's what the next code let's go and write that script now okay okay ash uh, bdn captures yeah okay so let's this is uh, webcam property setting okay cool second is uh, capture camera okay cool uh, dot click event so once click or it has to be call this uh, once the button click so what is our goal is to get the snapshot of the webcam and uh, store to the image okay so let's do that so webcam dot snap okay function okay so uh, so this is what the result data underscore uri so yes so this is what we get from the function okay then we are going to store into the image right so Okay. Okay. So default we have only the one image. Uh, this is fine. Why I am doing this is, if uh, we are using the class, we have the multiple image. Uh, so uh, this will be work. So that's what I just uh, defining the default index. That's cool. Equal to just directly boss this data URI. We get the URI of that. Okay. Cool. 
okay all all fine now so let's uh, go and refresh and see how the things are working okay let's go and click the capture see i able to capture so now the different things i try to do see the capture is working cool so it's taking the current snapshot or whatever over the things so this is the way to capture this and inspect you can see this so you get the uh, data image url so this uh, normally how you guys going to save in the folder so image uh, whenever that file uploader what the format uh, same procedure it will be applicable for this as well so i will show you in the next video how to store this uh, images but if you know uh, normally how the file uploader works right so then that same format you can pick it up this uh, and you have to store uh, maybe you can create on uh, web method and uh, you can uh, store uh, to the folder or you want to save this uh, in your database or you want to convert in the different format all yours it's again after that it's based on your requirement hopefully uh, you understand how to um, set up the live camera and how to capture the snapshot from the uh, live camera Uh, hopefully uh, this will uh, works for your project so i will share you the uh, plugin link where you can uh, uh, just take and put it in your uh, folder and you can reference that so next video i will going to show you how to save this uh, images so if you uh, want to uh, see how to store this images then you can look that uh, video as well thanks for watching stay tuned uh, go freelancer if you not subscribe before just subscribe our channel so that you get regular notification whenever i upload the new video